Lucy's unexpected journey. Lucy was an ordinary girl with a big imagination. Every evening, she would sit in her garden and look up at the stars, wondering what it would be like to visit other worlds. One clear evening, as Lucy was watching the sky, she saw a shooting star. But instead of fading away, the star grew larger and brighter until it landed softly in her garden, revealing itself to be a shimmering silver spaceship. Out of the spaceship stepped a small, green creature with big blue eyes. Greetings, it said. I am Zara from the planet Zorian. My ship is damaged, and I need help. Lucy, though startled, replied. How can I help you, Zara? Zara explained that she needed a special kind of flower to fix her spaceship, a flower that only grew in Lucy's world. Lucy knew immediately which flower Zara was talking about, the starlight blossom, a rare flower that shone like the stars at night. Lucy and Zara set off on a journey to find the starlight blossom. They crossed forests, climbed mountains, and even sailed across a vast lake. Along the way, they encountered various challenges. But with Lucy's knowledge of her world and Zara's advanced tools from Zorian, they overcame every obstacle together. After many days of searching, they finally found the starlight blossom atop a tall hill. The flower's petals gleamed under the Moonlight, illuminating the surrounding area. Zara carefully picked the flower and thanked Lucy. With this, I can fix my spaceship and return home. You have been a great friend. Lucy smiled. I'm just glad I could help. It was an incredible adventure. As they reached Lucy's garden, Zara quickly fixed her spaceship. Before she left, she gave Lucy a small pendant. This is a token of our friendship, Zara said. Whenever you look at it, remember our journey together. With a wave and a smile, Zara boarded her spaceship, which took off into the night sky. Lucy watched until the spaceship was just a tiny dot among the stars. She felt a mix of sadness and joy. She had made a new friend and gone on an unexpected journey, all without leaving her garden. Every evening after that, Lucy would sit in her garden, pendant in hand, looking up at the stars, knowing that somewhere out there was a friend thinking of her too.